Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! Wow! <laughs> We're at TV Lines Comic Con Suite with the cast of Stranger Things. Welcome, everybody. Welcome! Welcome. Thank you. I mean, okay. Thank you. Sadie. <laughs> how have they been treating you as the new kid on the block? God, they're so mean to me. We bully her on her way back home. Yeah. No, they're great. Do I hint? I you guys are still. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're awesome. We're like a big family now. Was it daunting at all coming into this uh, an established show like this? Yeah, I mean, I show? knew, I knew all of them had like all bonded over season one, and they like formed relationships and stuff, and they were all you know Aww. very close, but. I don't know. I didn't really have a problem with it. We all hit it off like right yeah, off the bat. I think like within the first in night of meeting the you. first night we actually went to a concert. We I know, to like we were already we went to Adele. Adele the first night. And I was met. like, I, I was looking at her and I was like, I'm gonna feel. I don't know if she's like. The well, I'm gonna feel her out, see if she's like cool, and then immediately like I was the like, you're coming to a deal with me. Yeah. Here's some tickets. The, the, yeah. first, the first week it was me, Sadie, Millie, mm -hmm. and then the second week I came in. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. It was. I think it was just what? me, Sadie, and Millie I don't know. Uh, for the first week. Yeah, it was and cool. Like, we, we all bonded over something. Well. Yeah. She like fit in immediately. And and she sings, so that's like the perfect mm -hmm. thing ever. You sing to the cast? I serenade them every day. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I never, never. She separately come comes in all of our rooms and she, she sings us <laughs> at my time. Morning, she every sings every morning. Every morning. I just, you know, she's <laughs> welcome them on set with them. Them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Song. I want to go around now, each of you, just sort of say how your character may be different when we pick up with them. Well, the Lucas is definitely older. He's <laughs> experienced more than, than a older. normal kid or a person would. He knows there's more than just bears and tigers, there's big demogorgons. So, yeah, life has happened. There's no bears and tigers uh, in Hawkins. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I just said he knows there's more than just yeah, bears. Yeah. There's bears. There's bears. There might be. Uh, I just I, just, I, I don't, don't know what I will say. Spit. I just snorted my water. It went up my nose. Oh, you stuck <laughs> your hint? Your hint. hint. Oh, oh, my hint. I'm so, good. Continue, you know, please. I'm good. Take a hint. The characters are really okay. escalating in season yeah. two. And uh, Noah? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> so Thanks, Millie. In the second season, you'll basically learn more about how the Upside Down affected Will and how... and you'll get more into everyone's storyline. Um, like on the last, the last scene of the first season when he coughs up the slug, they'll kind of explain that in yeah. the second season. <laughs> yeah, Mike uh, is definitely a lot more paranoid and a little distraught. more yeah, distraught and sort of on edge. Okay. Um, He's a lot more punchy and sort of teenagery and emo. He kind of emo, yeah. kind of emo. Well, yeah. Not like emo in the sense of just like oh emo, but like he's <laughs> he's well, he's you know what I mean when I say that. Okay, he's 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 like he's basically distraught and he's going through that grunge teenager phase. And it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like. A, a big change, but it's gonna be a little more noticeable. I feel he's like just, he's change. just not, well, he's just not a leader any, like, w when we start off the first season, he's not as much of a leader as he was before. He doesn't really care as much. Um, but it's then he gets back and it was all, but the, yeah, a hint of emo. <laughs> a hint of emo. <laughs> water infused with watermelon. <laughs> Melly, what can you, what can you say about Eleven? That she's back and, uh, you know, um, so she's back. Uh, she's back. I feel like I can say, you know, obviously she, she has hair, and yeah. that <laughs> it's a really big thing. No, um, it's you know obviously again kind of uh, matching what Finn said. I think it's she's in the state of like distraught and not really knowing what's going on. Very disorientated. That gives mm. a really a lot of way. And in, in, in a little, ugh, ugh, she's back. <laughs> she's back. Dustin. He starts out the season uh, the same as the other boys. It's just um, upset about everything that happened. But I feel like Dustin, more about out of the other boys, is trying to pretend that none of it happened. More than the other boys, I feel like he kind of has the attitude where he's like, come on, guys, come on, perk up, come on. But even he knows that it's not working. And I think that he's just like... Slowly like, giving up. Slowly giving up, yet being very hopeful. I feel like he's trying to be as supportive as possible to his friends, um, but it's just not working. And I feel like he, I feel like the boys appreciated everything that we're trying to do for each other, but we all know it's kind of like empty gestures and kind of just um, 
failing at trying to be the positive, goofy Dustin that he's always been, and he's opening up to more of the serious side this season.